Jackson, where are you at with the foot? Yeah, um, it's all going well. Had my operation uh, last Monday, so um, not much can do at the moment. Just put it up, uh, foot on the couch and, uh, and watch TV. But um, obviously in the next couple of days, I'll start to get things rolling, go see the surgeon next week, hopefully get the all clear from, from the operation and then um, and then start, uh, start kicking off with some training. What did they do to the foot? Just had a plate uh, put in the foot, which uh, it wasn't really necessary, but um, just to make it make sure that it comes back a lot stronger and um, hopefully get back a little bit quicker with the plate put in, so we did it. Do you have a bit of a ballpark idea of when you might be able to return? Um, not, not an exact exact date. Obviously, I'm on the long-term injury list, so that's going to be at least eight weeks, uh, seven now, so I'm really mm. counting down. So, um, you know, it'll take that time to, to get the bone right and, and obviously get my fitness back, but it'll be around that mark, maybe a couple of weeks, give or take. Yep. What are your goals as far as rehab goes, like when you hope to be running and all that sort of stuff? Yeah, I'm not exactly sure with the running. Um, obviously, I want to start training. I've, I actually went in the gym the other day and, and jumped in there. So I'll start my um, my gym work and, and grinder and, and pull will all start um, start pretty soon. It'll probably, probably happen um, early next week as soon as I get the all clear from the surgeon. And then it'll just progress from there. So within a couple of weeks after that, I'll hopefully be doing some sort of running or, or bike work. And then um, obviously full, full trust in the, in the fitness staff that we've got here with, um, with Ian and, and Burjo who will be able to um, get me back as soon as possible. Did the seriousness of it take you by surprise? Uh, not really, I sort of had a, I had a rough idea when I was out there um, that, I'd, that I'd done something to it. Um, pretty, pretty serious obviously, I, I, had, I had a fair idea that it was, it was broken when I was, when I was still playing. I tried to just grind, grind the game away but um, just got, got too sore, I had to come off. I was probably not doing, not doing enough for the team and, um, and it was good to get Robbie, Robbie Gray into that side and then obviously he was probably the difference in the end. What Taylor Walker, they were talking about he's going to do some opposition analysis and stuff like that. Have you thought much about how you can be actively involved? Yeah, definitely. I mean, I've spoken to Kenny already about what I can do around the club, whether it's help out some, some younger kids or yep. um, help out uh, Nixie with the backline stuff. So um, I'm going to start off with uh, being in the coaches' box this week. So that's going to be a, a great experience to, to see the way that Kenny and, and Richo and the other coaches operate. So um, that'll be a start and I'll, pro I'll progress from there. I'll start doing some stuff, a lot of work with Nixie, um, Vision, watching a lot of sample stuff as well. So will that let you have an input straight away, you think, in the box, or will you take a back seat a little bit on the weekend? No, I think I'll just watch on the weekend. I think it'll be um, it'll be pretty quiet. If Nixie obviously asks something, I'll, I'll answer the question, but um, I'll be pretty quiet up the back. We make a selection this week, Jared Redden getting a run. Yeah, I think he's, um, his form's been super in the sample and, you know, he's deserved his spot. He's, he's worked really hard. He probably got dropped a few weeks back uh, and he wasn't playing that bad in the, in the main side. So he was probably stiff then and, um, you know, that's, that's what we want as a, as a club. We're, we're fighting for positions and, and that's the way it is. He, he worked, had to work really hard in the sample, kicked a, a lot of goals. Um, I think he kicked eight in the last two weeks. So he's deserved his spot and deserves a shot at it. It might be hard for you to comment, but can you give us a bit of an insight in how things may structure up given that both the Ruckman from last week went out? Yeah, that's a, Probably a bit hard, but no, 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 just from inside, do you have a bit of an idea of what'll happen? Well, I think it, it, it'll go pretty similar. I mean, Rudo's going to have to do a, a fair chunk of the work. Um, obviously, they might bring Westhoff up to, to, to help out. I mean, Hoff's 200 centimetres and, and can jump, so I'm, I'm guessing that he'll have to help out at times, whether he just does the, the Ruck work in the forward 50 or, um, you know, he has to give him a chop out for, for five or ten minutes. That's what that's what he'll do. I mean, Hoff's Hoff's a, a very flexible player and he's able to go forward, back or, or in the ruck. So when Redo needs a spell, Hoff will probably do it. Paul well, Stewart's been a pretty important player of the last sort of couple of seasons. Is, does he just need to find a little bit more form or what's, do you know what the thinking is behind him being dropped? Yeah, to be honest, I've, I've got no, I can't answer yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. What did the boys make of Chappie's comments earlier in the week? Um, yeah, I mean, it was. we obviously did see, see the comments. It's... Um, it's not a real big deal. I mean, it, it comes out. He's obviously said what he what he wants to say, and I mean, we've got bigger things on our on our plate this weekend. Obviously, we we, we lost last week, and we, we want to come back and, and get a win. So, I mean, comments are comments. What do you make of Richmond? You win this week? Nah, there won't be much. We get much attention on the field this week. Uh, I'm not sure. I guess the boys will probably say a few things, but I don't think it'll be too much. I'm trying to focus on that win. It's. Obviously, coming off a loss, we're trying to pride ourselves on not losing two games in a row. So that, that's far more important than saying a few words to, to Chappie. How do you see Richmond? Everybody's talking about the big beast is coming, but they're a bit patchy, aren't they? Still, yeah, I think they're hard they're, to read. They're, they're, I mean, they're hard to read, but they're a, they're a super side, and that's the way we're going to be reading them for, to come out as that yeah. super side on on Saturday. I mean, they've they've got that midfield that's so so dangerous. It's you can't take them lightly at all. And, 
they've got a really good forward line and, and a good back line structure. So they're, 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 you know, they're setting up really well and, and we'll prepare for that, that super side to come out on Saturday. You tell must be good having Cochin out though. Helps. <laughs> <laughs> it definitely helps. I mean, he, you know, 30 touches every game, and just what he does with the footy and the way he runs, it's, it's, you know, he leads their side as well. So it's, it's very good for us. Can you tell us a bit about Sam Colvin in for his first game? Yeah, he's a, he's a real bubbly kid. I mean, he's, he's been terrific all pre-season, and um, his sample form's been super, um, which is really good for us. And, and just to get, give him that opportunity to, to play his first game, I think it's good for the.